Today we are going to start with poem 6 from your book Flamingo that is Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Edgar Rich. Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by the poet Edgar Rich. First of all, introduction about the poet. Edgar Rich, she was born in 1929 in Baltimore, Maryland, in USA. She is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and prose. So she is the one who used to write about women power. She has published 19 volumes of poetry, three collections of essays and other writings. A strong resistance to racism and militarism equals to her work. So she is the one who used to write not only about women but also about racism and militarism. So these three things they used to be there in her poetry. The poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers addresses the constraints of married life a woman experiences. So this present poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers it is a poem about a woman who is facing some problems regarding her married life. So problems which a married woman has to face in her life that are being discussed over here in this poem. Now before you read what does the title of the poem suggest to you? Tiger, it is ferocious, it is intelligent, it is powerful, it has strength. Are you reminded of other poems of tigers? So when we read this poem, the heading of the poem, it comes to our mind, it must be Aunt Jennifer's tigers. So that we are going to read whether it is the actual tigers or tigers in a movie, in a serial or on a canvas. Aunt Jennifer's tigers Prance, I mean the word prance, it means move. The word prance means to move. Our Jennifer's tigers, they prance across a screen. Screen here refers to a canvas. Bright topaz denizens. I don't like the word topaz, brown color. Denizens. These tigers, they are the bright brown colored citizens of a world of green, world of green refers to forests. So Angelus tigers, they are moving across a panel, across a screen. They are the brown colored citizens of the forest. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. Otherwise, like the word beneath, beneath, under. The men who are standing under the tree to make a prey of these tigers, they are not afraid of these men. They pace in steep shyamal. Otherwise, like the word pace. Pace means to walk. They walk in sleep. Sleep means in elegance. Elegant manner. Sleep, shy well ring. Underline the word shy well ring. Break, strong. Certain. These tigers, they know that they are powerful, they have all the strength, so they are not afraid of the men who are standing under the tree to make a prey of these tigers. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering. Underline these two words, fingers fluttering. Here the poet requires uses elevation. Elevation, repetition of the letter F. Fingers flapping, F and F, elevation. Aunt Jennifer's fingers, they are flapping. Another thing, the word, the word flapping, it means trembling. Shaking with fear. Aunt Jennifer's fingers, they are flattening to her wool. Wool here refers to that thing which is used for embroidery. She is doing some type of embroidery. So that wool, when she is moving her hands to the wool, they are shaking. Find even the ivory needle. Ivory needle refers to that instrument with which she is embroidering. Ivory needle, hard to pull. It seems so weak. She, her fingers, they seem so weak that it is hard for her to pull that ivory needle. The massive weight, I mean the word massive, it means huge. 
huge. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band, underline the word wedding band, it refers to the wedding ring. So here this line represents a deeper meaning. It means that aunt and it does not mean that actually the wedding ring is too heavy. It means that the responsibilities of the married life they have suppressed aunt Jennifer. So she is feeling a burden of life because of all these responsibilities which she has got through her married life. Sits heavily upon aunt Jennifer's hand. So these things, these, these sufferings, they are there in her life because of that married life. So the weight of that wedding ring, it is on her fingers, it is in the deeper meaning that the responsibilities of the married life of a woman, they have suppressed and checked. She is being so weak. Even her fingers, they are weak and it is not able to work properly. When aunt said her terrified hands will lie, when aunt Jennifer, she would die. After that also, her terrified hands, unlike the word terrified, scared. Aunt Jennifer's terrified hands, they would lie, still ringed with the audience, unlike the word ring. It is a metaphor used over here that the ring is there, but that ring it is also having the audience. Audience means up heaven. Up heaven in her life. She has all those ups and downs in her life because of the married life. When asked if her terrified hands will lie, still ring with audience, she was mastered by Asati school. Her husband might be a dominating husband. Therefore, he was a suppressive type of man. And otherwise also, being a woman, she might have to face many ups and downs in her married life. So therefore, when, her, when she, would be, she would die, after that also, her hands, they would be linked with those audience of the married life, which she was mastered by, which she was controlled by, ruled by. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on friends. That is ironical. That she is weak. She could not move her either fingers properly, move her hands properly. But the tigers that she has made on the canvas, they will still be moving in the panel that she made. Will go on prancing, go, moving with the difficulties. All the face difficulties, but they will be moving on. Proud and unafraid. And these tigers, they would be proud and unafraid. So two contrasting things are there. One, Aunt Jennifer. She has made tigers. Aunt Jennifer is depicted as a weak character over here. Why so? She is married and her husband might be ruling her over her and therefore she is feeling suppressed due to all these responsibilities of the married life or because the man he is a dominating one. So within her mind, she has a desire to live like the tigers, free. She wants to be powerful like the tigers. And therefore she makes these tigers on the canvas. So it is in itself that once Aunt Jennifer she would die, at that time also her hands, they would be still trained with the audience with which she was ruled by. But the tigers which she has made on the canvas, they will still be moving with pride, with spirit. So that's all about the poem. Now shortly we will be discussing the question response. Hope you have understood the poem. If you face any problem, then you are free to contact me. Thank you.